guys welcome back to my channel this is Jenny from Polly's Paper Studio and today is day one of our revisit and remake series where we're looking back in time and finding some of our favorite designs but we're going to give them a bit of a facelift by using some new collections and some fun new embellishments and tools that I have so the first one I am creating today for Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts and I'm using some little Brady Craft flowers flowers and some trims from really reasonable ribbon. So let's make this together. I'm starting with a standard card base and I have finished the inside with the coordinating papers. So I'm going to begin by layering the pattern paper that is matted with a chocolatey brown cardstock. And I'm just gonna center that. Next I want to add this beautiful wood grain. I'm continuing to use the uh, cardstock to separate the pattern so I'm just going to add this right here at the bottom. Now I'm going to bring in this uh, large uh, floral lace panel and this is going to take the place of the die cut doily that was in the original so this is a nice way to improve the original design because I'm going to hide those layers underneath other parts of pattern paper, I'm going to just go ahead and use that hot glue and not worry that it's seeping back up through because it will be concealed under the next layer. So I have the plaid paper here matted again. And instead of the tag on the side, I'm going to utilize this piece of die cut that had uh, established 1872. I thought that was just a really uh, nice vintagey sort of detail to add and I'm putting it right in the same place that the original tag was in um, and then I'm going to add that right here. I'm replacing the original image of that vintagey girl with this one from the Pleasant Collection and it just has the pumpkin and some uh, fall inspired flowers and a beautiful sentiment and just like in the original I am including a small clip at the top and I'm just going to lower that uh, a bit so that that pattern will show all the way around. I put that layer on the foam spacer so it will help to build some dimension. There is a small chipboard sentiment in the corner of the original it says Paris for this one I'm using the gypsy soul laser cut metal number plates it is layered now on top of another chipboard piece and I've included a couple of little brads to finish that and I'm just going to add it right here at the bottom I've got a little foam on the end of this so where it hangs off of the larger image it's still supported underneath. Um, in the original I have some flowers and some dangly charms so I'm going to include that as well. I've got some pretty little flowers from uh, Little Birdie Crafts. I added some twine and some keys. And I think that if I put it here, you'll still be able to see all the wording and the keys will be able to fall nicely. So at the top, there were brown buttons. I'm going to switch them out for actual vintage buttons that coordinate better. And these have the original string in them, which adds a really nice patina. And then in the corner, I have a nice selection of Little Birdie Crafts flowers. These are uh, a variety of nice mochas and some browns and some frosted white ones. And then I have also included the greenery from the packages and some loopy twine bows. And that is just going to go in the corner. And last but not least, I want to include this sweet little bow that I tied from really reasonable ribbon, plaid, um, beautiful warm fall colors. And I'm going to tuck it underneath those flowers so that it comes out from underneath with the tails. And that is it. So we have recreated 
a, a new card from our original design and I think it looks fabulous. Um, if you enjoyed this project, leave me a like, give me a comment, and if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for day two of our Revisit and Remake series. Uh, I am thanking all of you for watching and I'm wishing everyone a happy and productive day. Bye!